This is indeed a red letter day. It has been 472 days, 22 hours, 42 minutes, and 11 seconds since I issued the definitive Desert File Creationism Challenge. Up till this moment, no creationist out there has been able to take that challenge. Not only unwilling, but unable. They couldn't even comprehend such a simple challenge. That has ended. We finally have a creationist who actually took the definitive Desert File Creationism Challenge. It goes by the YouTube user name, and I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll spell it. O-W-C-H-Y-W-A-W-A. -A. For people who may have forgotten, the Desert File Definitive Creationism Challenge is state a positive claim in defense of creationism, state what test one has applied to disprove that positive claim. This person's positive claim is rocks on Earth formed almost instantaneously, and the evidence for that is what he calls polonium halos, um, usually in granite. And he has said that he has tried to disprove that claim. He's also said that Robert Gentry had tried to disprove that claim, and Robert Gentry was unable to do that. Even though this clown is wrong, just as Robert Gentry is wrong, he did, in fact, qualify for the definitive Desert File Creationism Challenge. So, YouTube user... O-W-C-H-Y-W-A-W-A, -W -A -W -A, you are the winner of this challenge. However, there are some problems with your assertions because they are false. First off, you said that Robert Gentry disproved evolutionists. Uh, we're talking atomic physics here. So if Robert Gentry is correct... That means every single atomic physicist on the planet is wrong. Uh, I don't know what you mean by evolutionist, but you are s claiming that Robert Gentry is correct about atomic physics, and every single atomic physicist on the planet is somehow incorrect. I don't know how that has anything to do with evolution or uh, evolution -ists. So The second thing is... You know, even before Robert Gentry published his book, he was refuted and he was corrected by scientists. Not just a few, but a hell of a lot of them. In his uh, bizarre sermons that he gave, you know, you can tell a scientist from a creationist. The scientist, you know, asks for peer-reviewed from scientists. Creationists, they go on a sermon uh, tour from church to church. Guess which one Robert Gentry did? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Robert Gentry was disproved in his false claim before he published his book. But he went along and published it anyway, completely bypassing the scientific method, bypassing peer-reviewed and refereed journal publications. He just skipped all that, and he had his book, uh, Creationism's Tiny Mystery, published, which is not something, generally, that scientists do. Many, many, many scientists pointed out to him that the polonium halos that he saw under the microphone, uh, microscope, microphone, are not polonium halos! Poof! There it goes, your entire bizarre and absurd claim. It is impossible for the, the samples that he saw, the halos, to be made out of polonium decay, alpha decay. It is fucking impossible. It could not happen. What the halos are, are uranium halos. Uranium, you know, it goes from, you know, Uranium all the way down to radon or rayon or, you know, nylon. Physicists pointed this out to him long before he had his book published, during the time he had his book published, and after he had his book published. You know, Robert Gentry first claimed that he did not get his samples 
anywhere near a uranium mine. He lied. He even eventually admitted that he had lied. And yet, for some reason, he is still claiming that some of his samples were not taken from uranium mines. So, there goes your and Gentry's claim that those are polonium halos. They are not. They're uranium halos. I said, also no. If you had really tried to disprove your own claim, and therefore disprove Robert Gentry's claim, you would know this fact, wouldn't you? So, anyhow, I'm kind of pleased to see that somebody has at least uh, understood, a, a creationist has understood the definitive creationism challenge. Uh, of course, non-creationists understood it, you know, immediately. It took well over one year for a creationist to actually understand the challenge. It's, it's a damn shame that he couldn't actually be honest about it and actually actually put the effort to disprove his own claim. You know, he just says that he did, but that's got to be worth a few points. So, hallelujah. Amen. Praise all the gods.